This is as close as it gets to pre-COVID travel. Showing the world it can be done, Singapore and Hong Kong launched the world's first air travel bubble. Another breakthrough in the fight against COVID-19, Russia says its vaccine is 92% effective. And what a shot! This might just be the greatest hole-in-one in golf history. This is The Straits Times News Night. I'm Dylan Ang. I'm Chiao Suen. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. Well, it's official. The first flights of the world's inaugural air travel bubble will take off on Sunday, November 22nd, and tickets have already sold out. Singapore and Hong Kong announcing today that the aviation bubble will start with just one flight a day into each city with a maximum of 200 travellers each way. In fact, when we checked the Singapore Airlines website just now, it was already impossible to book tickets for that first flight. With this bubble, Singapore and Hong Kong could be setting an example for the rest of the world. This is as close as it gets to pre-COVID travel. In the sense that whoever you are now, on the Hong Kong side or Singapore side, you don't need anyone to sponsor or to tell you you can travel or you need a special reason, then you can travel. Now the empowerment is, is turned around again, that as a person living in Hong Kong or Singapore for the past 14 days or more, you can travel if you want to. Both cities are most definitely ready to welcome back tourists. Singapore Tourism Board posted this message today. Hello Hong Kong, we've missed you. Its counterpart, Discover Hong Kong, also with a similar message. It's time to take off and head into exciting new skies. Even Transport Minister Ong Ye Kang is brushing up his Cantonese. The global race for a COVID-19 vaccine is intensifying. Two days after Pfizer's announcement, Russia claims its COVID-19 vaccine is 92% effective. The interim results for the Sputnik V vaccine are based on data from the first 16,000 trial recipients who received both shots of the two-dose vaccine. No serious side effects have been reported so far and the trial will continue for another six months. On to the local COVID-19 situation, 18 new cases were reported today. All were imported ones who have been placed on stay-home notice upon arriving here. Among them are two Singapore permanent residents as well as 14 work pass holders, including 10 foreign domestic workers. With Dipavali just three days away, enforcement officers and safe distancing ambassadors are stepping up checks in Little India. Over the last two weekends, eight people were each fined $300 for flouting safe management measures while in Little India. And a horrifying story. A couple will be charged tomorrow over their suspected involvement in the death of an 11-year-old girl. The couple, both 26, will be charged with murder. The woman is the biological mother of the girl, while the man is the stepfather. The girl was alive but unconscious when taken to the hospital yesterday. She later died. The police were alerted the same day. Now watch this space for updates on this case. Following ST's report on an alleged religious leader in Singapore with multiple spiritual wives, the Islamic Religious Council of Singapore, or MUIS, has since said that he is not a qualified or registered teacher and added that it is working with the relevant authorities to investigate. MUIS said that it is aware of previous complaints against the man, but added that the ST article has raised new and alarming claims about his activities. Muslim Affairs Minister Masago Zukivli posted on Facebook in Malay. He said that the report on individuals who were set to deliver religious knowledge despite being unpredictable and practice reverse teachings has rocked us and raised extensive concerns amongst the people. 
In other local news tonight, the long-awaited Lonnie Road Park Connector will finally be completed in the next few weeks. Stretching about 2 kilometres from McRitchie Reservoir Car Park to the fringe of Kiem Hock Park, it will complete the 36-kilometre coast-to-coast trail from Coney Island to Jurong Lake Gardens. No official date has been announced just yet, but NPARKS said it is working to complete it by the end of the year. Let's take a look at what's been trending on social media and sparking conversations today. Now watch this. If he looks familiar, yes, that's right, it's Dave Grohl jamming with a 10-year-old by the name of Nandy Bushell. After getting to know of Nandy's drum covers on social media, where she challenged him to a battle, the two have developed an unlikeliest of friendships and have, ev have, have even agreed to write a song together. In a video call, the Foo Fighters frontman asked Nandy to play with the band when they next visit the UK. What a star! Now what's that smell? It's the scent of a new invention that could help reduce food wastage. Never doubt if your produce is fresh ever again. A team of scientists here have invented a system that mimics the nose. This will assess the freshness of meat accurately. The electronic nose comprises a barcode that changes colour over time in reaction to the gases produced by meat as it decays and a barcode reader in the form of a smartphone app powered by artificial intelligence. The e-nose is more accurate than the traditional used by labels, that's for sure. First Burger King and now Tourism Malaysia, it seems like the spirit of cooperation has trumped that of competition in the midst of the pandemic. In a cheeky Facebook post, Tourism Malaysia said just like Burger King never thought they'd be promoting a Big Mac, we too never thought we'd be asking you to do this. We would never have imagined encouraging you to spend your holidays in Singapore, but our friends in the tourism industry could use your support at the moment. The Singapore Tourism Board responded in a comment on the post saying, Thanks for the love, Tourism Malaysia. Thinking of you too. Stay safe and keep well. Local celebrities like Hosan Leong also weighed in. Over in sports, perhaps the best shot you've ever seen. That's just incredible. Now, Spanish golfer John Rahm hit a rather special hole-in-one on his 26th birthday at Augusta National as he was warming up for the Masters. If you didn't know, the Masters tees off tomorrow and will last through the weekend. Since it's Singles Day or 11-11, if you have something in mind to buy online, it's time to add to cart. As per tradition, Alibaba kicked off the mega event with live performances, including Katy Perry, who appeared via live stream. Alibaba said orders had exceeded 56 billion US dollars by this morning, making it the world's biggest sales event. And it seems like many of you here have been busy shopping too. Singapore made the list of the top 10 countries making purchases. 11.11 sales were however not as smooth sailing as many would have hoped. Some shoppers here faced difficulty when using GrabPay in the early hours this morning as Grab's e-payment feature ran into technical issues. The company has yet to comment. So Suen, are you looking to buy anything? <laughs> Actually, I don't really have anything I need right now, but maybe I'll get a few more gym classes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and that wraps up the Straits Times News Night. Do visit straightstimes.com to see more news and videos. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel by hitting the button below. Have a great evening. We'll see you tomorrow.